Hey guys, it's Carter. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great and amazing day today. Now in today's video, we are going to be doing a full beginner's guide to one of my favorite stock brokers, Moomoo. We're going to be doing everything you must know about it, some tips, some tricks. I've been using this for about four years now and I absolutely love it. So we're going to dive in and show you guys everything. And if you guys want to sign up, I'll put a link to it down below so you, so you guys can. So guys, let's jump into it. Alrighty, so we have Moomoo up and loaded, downloaded, updated, everything like that. So let's dive in and talk about how you can use this broker to make as much money as possible. So once you get this thing up and loaded here, this is how you're going to be navigating through the system here. Right on the left hand side, they have a whole bunch of menu tabs. Now the me tab right in here, this is going to show you guys how you guys can deposit money, withdraw money. Up here will have all of your assets. Assets, your total assets down here you'll have your yield you can compare it to the S&P 500 and see how you're doing um, you know versing that on top of that if you hold any companies uh, you'll have your positions right in here your total P&L today's P&L all of that good stuff I do have mine muted but maybe later um, in tomorrow's episode we'll break down all the positions that I am in but moving on so the next thing you guys will notice right here here you guys can compare all of your different you know all of your different investments so you know you have today five day last month year to date all of that good stuff so moving on here one thing that i always love about mumu is how they can customize everything so you'll notice on the right hand side right here it'll say show more if you click that you can have a quote up and loaded here now this one here is espr this is just the most recent search that i've done and then as you scroll down here you'll have your you know a little chart you'll have weekly monthly quarterly yearly one minute three minute for all of you day traders out there you'll have your level two your order flow all that good stuff which is is awesome you will have your analysis news any comments one thing that's cool about Moomoo is they do have like a Facebook or a Twitter pretty much for people that are only using Moomoo which is cool so if you have questions if you want to see what other people are buying you can do that right here and you know later in the episode when, when we get to that point here too but it's just really cool how you can kind of bump that out. Um, so you can kind of, if you're maybe looking at ESPR to buy, you can kind of keep track of it as you navigate through the site. So moving on next, moving on next here is the watch list tab. So for me, I love to use this just to really analyze companies. So how you go about doing that, it's really simple. All you gotta do is just search. Now, if you wanted to look up like Apple, AAPL, boom, all you gotta do, search it. And then as you notice here, up in here, we'll have all the different charting features. So you'll have the five day, the daily, you know, the weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, one minute for all of you day traders, three minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, all that good stuff. Obviously, you guys can add your own. Another really cool thing that they have is really good drawing tools that I absolutely love. So if you want to draw different trend lines, you can do that. If you want to do a horizontal line for maybe some possible support and resistance. And then one thing I like is you can do a horizontal line that pretty much extends the whole throughout the whole chart. So as we scroll back, you know, and up, you will notice that that line is, is staying in the exact same spot. So I always think that's really cool because if maybe you find a really hard support, you can draw it out and you don't have to worry about it. Now, another cool thing, they do have more drawing tools. So if you wanna, you know, draw out different points, you can do that there as well. And then they have different uh, pattern recognition. So if you have any patterns that you like, or you know, maybe you're, you're possibly learning, you can you can go about doing that right in here. Also, you can delete everything, you know, just like that. All right, moving on here, the next thing you guys will notice as we scroll down is going to be the markets tab. Before we jump into that, I do want to show you guys on the right hand side here. So you can do the display so you can show different things, any gaps up, uh, you know, trademarking for order management, 
you know, all that good stuff, which is cool. Right here, you guys will notice you can customize different charts. So if you want two charts, you can have that if you want three. I always like to just do one. That's just what works well for me, just so I can really analyze one company. But we'll show you really how to make a trade station later. So stay tuned for that. More drawing tools. You can do a full screen. I don't really do that. You can do a stock comparison. So if you wanted to search up different companies or maybe just like the S&P 500, you know, SPX here, you can compare it like that. Boom, confirm and see how it's doing. But yeah, it's just really cool. I really love, you know, all the different integrations that this thing has. Moving on. Moving on is the markets cab or markets tab. We'll go ahead and we'll what we'll actually do is kind of hide this just for now. But one thing here is, you know, adding companies, you can do it here. You can see what companies are moving. So you'll have Hong Kong. The U.S. is really where I mostly look at just because I trade in the United States. But one thing that's cool is they do have this little filter tab. Um, you know, which is kind of like a little stock scanner. We'll talk about this more actually later in the episode as we scroll through other tabs that possibly will have it. But one thing I do like is you can actually just instantly look at companies that are moving. So if you, if you, are more of a day trader and you care about volatility, you know, this is a great option to pretty much instantly look at companies that have high gap ups, which is really cool. So moving on, moving on here. Um, you guys will notice that we have the portfolio tab. Portfolio, honestly, don't really use it. This is just going to be how you can kind of, you can compare what you're doing with other people. I don't do, I don't use it. Nothing against it. I've never really used it. I think it's a cool feature that they have. It's just something I really don't use that much. Moving on, the trade tab. This is going to be your bread and butter. So what this says is it's going to be like creating a trade station. We'll actually just delete them all and we'll start from scratch. So you guys will notice you can customize your own or they do have different options um, as well as more options here. But what we're actually going to do is just do a blank one and break it through so you'll notice we have this little toolbox that you can kind of move around here and so as you click them boom you have custom quotes so you can add different things here ticks if you want um, the bid and ask if you want a chart um, and maybe for C you can do a summary something like that boom you got your you got a good idea of kind of what's going on with the stock you can actually go like that and, and you're good to go. The next thing, if you wanted to do a, your watch list off to the side, but honestly, a cool thing that I really like is the market monitor. So this one here is just like looking, they, they use artificial intelligence and they, and they will give you an overall indicator. So if that's just say you want to are looking at all the United States stocks, okay, they'll tell you stocks that have or are soaring, stocks that have had a sharp rise, uh, you know, diving trade in, they have everything all in one. So it's like a little stock scanner that you can kind of keep up and really get an overall idea of what's going on in the market staying up to date. And you obviously have your watch list here. So you know, like we already mentioned, you can add everything right there. But anyways, you can go ahead and adjust all these here and kind of how you pair them it's really simple you click this little group setting and you just want to make sure they're all linked with the same um, color or number so for me I'm turning them all to one so if that just say you wanted to look at you know uh, ESP PR, I believe, is this one here. Boom, you're good. Let's move this so you guys can see. Uh, WE, boom, boom. So you can you can click through and see what's going on. But let's just continue to go through all these so you can get a good gauge of what's going on. Personally, I always love to have a clock up just so I can kind of get a gauge of when the market's going to open, when it's going to close. You can have your PL. You, they do have a probability thing, so you can put in um, different options and they'll give you like different probability charting. Um, as we scroll down, calculator, ticks, brokers, you know, flow trend, all that good stuff, securities, they have orders. So if you are in any orders, I always love to have this so I can see my direct order flow. So possibly, you know, if you're wanting to get out of a position, you can just cancel it right here. It honestly makes it a lot easier than trying to go through and sell them. 
um, history right there. They do have today's uh, stats. They do have different, um, you know, the, the overall brokers. They do have a whole bunch of things. Let's go back to the, um, let's go back to the general tab because we didn't, I don't think we finished all of them here. So they do have the order book right here. Then they do have different things, you know, let's just continue. Char they do have better charting right here. Um, they do have a variety of things, custom quotes. I always like this, honestly, just because it's by far the best way to customize your, your chart and get all the things that you really possibly want or, or need. But, but one thing that I would recommend is clicking this filter, and this is another stock scanner. We'll talk about this more as we go through it, but you can have a different, different scanning features to look for different types of stocks for your different types of trades. So you can go through and change the market cap, the stock float, all that good stuff. So you can go ahead, save it as a strategy, so you'll always have it you know, up to date, and then obviously you'll just pair them like that. But obviously one thing that you will need is this trade right here. The trade tab is this is how you're gonna pretty much buy your company. So you make sure they're linked like that. And then, so if that's just say DX or DHX, boom, you'll notice it comes here. So you can actually unlock it to trade it. You can adjust you know, the price you wanna buy, the amount of shares you wanna buy. And you can obviously just throw that off to the side like that. But obviously, one thing that I love is that you can customize them and you can add as many as you want, which is beautiful. So it's something I would highly recommend doing. Obviously, you can save them all as templates and you can load up other ones, which is cool. So moving on. Moving on to the Explore tab here. The, the Explore tab is by far another really, really popular thing that I always use. So looking at it, you always get a general idea of what's moving, uh, different sectors that are doing well, what the S&P 500's doing well, the latest movers off, off on the right here, pre-market, after hours, new IPOs coming, and a variety of other just different indicators to just get a gauge of what's going on. Also, they do have different strategies. So if you wanna learn like a triple bottom, head and shoulders, they'll have that and then they'll have um, some stocks that are possibly in that pattern so you can help learn them. Then moving on, we got the screener. Like I mentioned, this is gonna be how you, you find different companies. So they have so many different honestly different charting and scanning features on this it's crazy so you can obviously go through adjust all of these if you want make sure you guys like and subscribe and i'll do a full video on my scanners we'll break them down we'll we'll start them from scratch and i'll show you guys what i do and how i do it so just something that's awesome they do have different ones for different types of investments as well. Then they do have institutional holdings. So you can see it like what company like Vanguard's holding. So they have a ton of Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, uh, NVIDIA, and Tesla. So if you want to invest like Vanguard, it's super easy to do so, as well as BlackRock, you know, which is another really popular uh, holding company. Then they do have a variety of other things, IPOs, announcements, dividend payouts, uh, future analysis so you can type in different companies and get a gauge of what's going on and stuff like that but the most popular things that I do is the trade tab explore I feel like I am constantly going between the two just because I love them then we got news now a lot of people think you need to spend money on news that is not the case Mumu has their own Mumu news which is great so you can get a gauge of what's going on why companies are moving and it's just awesome. I really love it. I really love how they have it. And then you can incorporate the companies that you are are investing in right on the watch list, which is really nice as well. So as we scroll down, like I mentioned, they do have you know messaging and then they do have the mood. This right here is like that Facebook that I kind of mentioned before. So they'll have, you know, people you're possibly following and different, you know, notifications, all that good stuff. So it's really cool how they have it. But one thing is you may be saying, Carter, how do I learn how to trade? Well, they got you. They do have a paper trading feature, which is a great way to help beginners get a gauge of how to trade different sh types of trades, stuff like that. And you can literally start paper trading like that. It's beautiful. I absolutely love Moomoo's paper trading because they teach you how to trade. They they start practicing and you, you can get a, just a 
gauge of how to trade, different strategies to work on, stuff like that. So I would highly recommend doing it. They do have options and futures. So make sure you guys sign up. But yeah, guys, Moomoo is a great, this is another one I've never really used either. But honestly, guys, Moomoo is a great, it's a great, great broker. I would highly recommend it. I've been using it for about four years now and I love it. So make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Hey guys, that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you guys did hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.